Today we'll be reacting to Brandy performing the American National Anthem live at the football something. Uh, let me see. Go sports. Uh, why can't I learn this? NFL, NFC. So National Football League, National Football Championship, championship game. 49ers versus Rams. Wow, you guys are extra. Before we start, this is a reaction video. It's a commentary video, so I'm gonna stop and provide commentary along the way. Like, I'm gonna pause. But I'll, of course, link the full performance below so that you can check it out without me disturbing you. But you clicked the reaction video, so here we are. I love Brandy. She's like, oof, queen of runs. I, oof. Mm. And now to perform the national anthem, please welcome <laughs> Grammy award-winning singer and songwriter, yes. Brandy. Oh, I love her. She looks so good. Oh, can you see by the dawn's early light? It's kind of hard to hear what she's doing. It's hard to hear like her tone in detail because there's this weird, it sounds like almost like it's dubbed, but it's because it's in a stadium. So you get sound sources from each side and they sort of punch back and forth. So you hear it sort of twice or quadruple <laughs> at the same time. So it, that's kind of confusing. It sounds like there's this bad delay on there. Um, I guess we're just gonna have to deal with it. What's so Yes, low note. I, I love her tone. I love her uh, effortless runs. I know that some people think it's too much when singers do runs all over these sort of classic songs. And I want to say that I agree to some extent, but at the same time, we've heard this song a billion times. We know how the melody goes. Isn't it just more interesting to hear, to hear a singer add like their musicality, to add their take on it? Because I think that's more interesting, but I, of course, respect it if you think that things like your national anthem or stuff like that should be held more clean. Uh, but I, personally, I appreciate it. Let me go back just a little bit, because... What so proudly we hailed at the twilight last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars. And this is typical for, for her. There's a lot of air to her lower notes in her lower register. I think it sounds cool, but I know some people don't like that, but I, I think it sounds awesome. Yeah, I also like how her tone sounds now because she sounds more fuller than, you know, in her Moesha days, if you want to compare it to that. Obviously, she was a teenager and, and sort of your voice is more brighter when you're a teenager than when you're, I don't know, in your 30s, 40s, I don't know how old Brandy is, but it's been a while since Moesha. So uh, anyway, I think her voice has matured beautifully. I love her tone, you know? Yes! So one of the things people say about Brandy, I've talked about it in this video, is that she is a whisper singer and that she can't belt. And I know also some of the, uh, some of her critics have, have said that she doesn't have any power in her upper register, that it's too like bright and airy. I present to you, <laughs> um, Brandy Belting. Brandy is not a whisper singer. She uses a lot of whisper singing like in her productions, but she can belt. Yes, oh, that run was so good. Better yet, 
Yes. She's so gorgeous. With this version that I heard, it's like there's a like a just a few milliseconds of delay. It was very hard to hear uh, like the nuances of what she did. Brandy is like queen of vocal agility. She does runs or melisma with such ease. It's so, so effortless for her. And yeah, that shines through obviously in this performance as well, despite the bad sound. Um, what I can't hear though, because of that delay, Ugh, that annoying thing is I can't really hear where where she does what to get the sound like I heard a little bit of a cry one time like where she huh, did a little bit of that <laughs> but it was really hard to tell what she was doing and also it's hard to get like the resonance but to me it sounded like her belts were very powerful now she's got more bottom to them and they were full and not uh, super airy from what I could tell from this <laughs> poor sound. But yeah, apart from that, it was kind of hard to hear the tone and its full glory, you know. So I'm sorry, I didn't know that's the point. You know, you go into these reactions blind, so you don't really know. I didn't know the sound was going to be this bad, and I apologize, and I hope I found a better version to put there for you. But yeah, if you're still here, leave some kind of green emoji. Uh, I appreciate you being here. Thank you so much for watching. Like the video if you liked it, subscribe if you want to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.